Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope, uh, hope you can see this broadcast. I guess I might be having a similar problem. I can't see your comments or your likes, everyone, so I hope you're out there. If not, I'll just talk to myself for the next five minutes. This is Schorsch Castle. It used to be Furstenstein, uh, once belonging to the well, one of the richest families in this Central Europe, the Pless family, the Hochberg family, princes of Pless. It, uh, is totally stunning and it was once intended it was taken by the nazis after 400 years of hochberg ownership and it was intended to be transformed into a palatial palace palatial palace a palace for hitler hey everyone how are you doing make sure you follow me please share this uh, i'll be bringing you uh, some other films as the autumn goes on as the fall goes on we're going to versailles we've got exclusive access into versailles in france First World Battlefields, Canada, all sorts of places. But check this out. Coming now into the sort of stable block. Uh, this, ca this castle, this family, well, this castle dominates this area of Poland and the family who owned it had uh, owned all the, the Silesian coal mines, making them one of the richest families in Europe and the Romanovs. You are now down this path here that we're walking now. Came the Romanovs, the Hohenzollerns, Hochbergs, the Churchills, American presidents, you name it, everyone came here. It was one of the richest and most famous houses and families in Europe. It was then taken by the Nazis in the 1940s when the final princess, Daisy of Pless, an English woman, who, a uh, British woman who married into the Pless family, she died in the early 1940s. In the, the Hochberg family had annoyed Hitler, so he took it over himself and he started transforming this into a Fuhrer residence. Deep, deep beneath my feet now, there are huge, deep tunnels which uh, with uh, uh, elevated shafts leading down, uh, and it was designed to be his headquarters. Check that out. Check that out. Pretty extraordinary. You can see it dominates the scenery dominate the valley for all around. It's now called Change Palace, Change Castle. It was Furstenstein, which is a very cool German name. This entire area was taken over uh, by Poland at the end of World War II. It was Germany, this was Silesia in Germany, one of the richest provinces of Germany, hence this family, one of the grandest and richest families in Germany. Let them be, it was then taken by the Red Army, they sacked it, they completely emptied this palace, destroyed it. Then the Communist Poles. And now it's finally back in, uh, with what, it's back in free Polish hands. Now I've got other films that you may want to check out inside this palace on my Facebook page, History Hit, Dan Snow's History Hit. Uh, but for the moment I have to go and do some filming for a TV show that it's very exciting but I can't tell you about now, to do with the Nazis. Okay, see you later guys, bye bye.